Well, now that we know how to multiply monomials and binomials, let's talk about multiplying polynomials with more than one or two terms. Our first example here is x minus 2 times x squared plus 3x minus 1. Now when we do this, this is just like multiplying two binomials together, or two terms, polynomials together. All you do is you take your first term in your binomial, and you multiply it by everything in the second polynomial. Then you take your second term in your binomial and you multiply that by everything in the second polynomial. So what we'll have is x times x squared, x times 3x, and x times negative 1. Then you'll have negative 2 times x squared, negative 2 times 3x, and then negative 2 times negative 1. Well, x times x squared is just x cubed. 3x times x is 3x squared. Negative 1 times x is minus 1x. Negative 2 times x squared is negative 2x squared. Negative 2 times 3x would be minus 6x. And then negative 2 times negative 1 is just a positive 2. Lastly, you combine your like terms. You have a 3x squared and a negative 2x squared. Then we also have a negative 1x and a negative 6x. So this will be x cubed. 3x squared minus 2x squared is just 1x squared. Negative 1x and negative 6x is negative 7x. And then plus 2. Let's look at our next example. Here we have x squared plus 4x minus 4 times 2x squared minus 4x plus 2. Well here, our first number has more than two terms. So you can't use the FOIL method, but we're going to do something similar. We're just going to take every term in this first polynomial and multiply it with every term in the second polynomial. So we'll take x squared and we'll multiply it by 2x squared. We'll take x squared and multiply it by negative 4x. And we'll take x squared and we'll multiply it by 2. Then when we're done, when we're done with that, we'll take 4x, multiply that by 2x squared, 4x times the negative 4x, and then 4x times 2. Then lastly, you can't forget about this negative 4. We'll take this negative 4 and multiply it by 2x squared, times negative 4x, and times 2. So if we do that, We'll start with the x squared, x squared times 2x squared, x squared times negative 4x, and x squared times 2. Well, x squared times 2x squared is just 2x to the fourth x squared times negative 4x would be minus 4x cubed and 2 times x squared is just 2x squared. Now this is all going to be added to what we do with the 4x. So we have 4x times 2x squared 4x times negative 4x and then 4x times 2 If we simplify that, we have 2x squared times 4x, that's 8x cubed. 4x times negative 4x would be negative 16x squared. And we have 4x times 2, or 8x. And then lastly, we have to multiply this negative 4 by everything. So we'll have negative 4 times 2x squared. Negative 4 times negative 4x and then negative 4 times 2. If we simplify those, negative 4 times 2x squared would be negative 8x squared. Negative 4 times negative 4x is a positive 16x. 
and then negative 4 times 2 is just negative 8. So now we're going to take these three and add them together. So this is going to look like 2x to the fourth minus 4x cubed plus 2x squared plus 8x cubed minus 16x squared plus 8x minus 8x squared plus 16x minus 8. Now you have to combine your like terms. We don't have any other x to the fourth, so we have 2x to the fourth. We have negative 4x cubed, positive 8x cubed. Positive 8 plus negative 4 will give us a 4x cubed. We have a 2x squared, a negative 16x squared, and a negative 8x squared. So 2x squared minus 16x squared would be a negative 14x squared. And then negative 8 more x squares, well, four, negative 14 and negative 8, it's negative 22x squared. We have 8x and 16x. 8 plus 16 would be 24x. And then we just have our negative 8 at the end. So our answer then would be 2x to the 4th plus 4x cubed minus 22x squared plus 24x minus 8. And that completes the tutorial on multiplying polynomials.